how is everyone? I hope y'all are all having a fabulous day. Today is a little bit of an extra Dollar Tree video for me. I normally just have my weekly Saturday Dollar Tree haul. However, I got to go to a couple of stores that I don't normally get to go to, and I grabbed a lot more Halloween stuff. Most of it y'all might have already seen, but I just wanted to share it with y'all and um, get to putting it out. So anyways, we will just jump right in. Um, but there is one thing from Walmart that I am just dying to show y'all. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Um, oh, and before I forget, I do have a giveaway going on right now. It is a Halloween giveaway. So some of this stuff that you've been seeing in my, um, you know, Dollar Tree hauls, a lot of the Halloween stuff will be in the giveaway. I will link the video in the description box and I will announce the winners um, September 28th, this Saturday. So wanted to get that out before I forgot, but I have to show y'all this. I found this at Walmart and I just am so in love with it. Look at this. It is a toilet seat cover, and I hope that y'all can see. I mean, she has braces for some reason. They look like they're just like shattered on her teeth. Um, it was $1.54, but I absolutely love this. And I'm not gonna lie, I got it because I thought it looked like me. So, and as soon as I brought it home, I had to show my boyfriend. He was like, that looks like you. So I wasn't the only one that thought it, but I just thought that this was so cool. And they have probably like five designs. They have had one where like rats were coming out of the toilet, one where um, spiders were coming out. There was also a girl that was a little bit different. She had like white blonde hair. And then there was one with a big old, um, you know, creepy clown coming out. But I loved all of them, but I just had to get this one because I thought it was super creepy because it kind of looked like me. So anyways, I just really wanted to share that with y'all because I absolutely love that. So anyways, okay, so um, if y'all haven't heard me talk about um, my black Christmas tree, I am working on it. I got it put together. I got it spray painted. Um, so now I just have to decorate it. So I grabbed a couple boxes of these purple mini lights from Dollar Tree. I thought that those would look really good um, against the black tree. Um, let's see. I do have a couple things that aren't Halloween. Let me show those to y'all because they are really, really cute. Um, my store did get some more of these trash cans. So I did grab one of these. Um, definitely going to use it for like paint brushes and stuff like that in my crafting room. I just think that these are so cute. Um, they put out a lot of new um, canvas pictures. And they had a lot of really cute designs, but this one I just had to get. Look at him, or her. Just so darn cute, this little llama. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her, but there was no way I was not going to get her. She was just so, so cute. And I think that you could even glue on some little pom-poms and make it more of like a 3D type um, picture. So. I don't know, I just thought that was so cute, so I had to grab it. And then this is so cute as well. It says dreaming, and if you can tell, the um, eyelashes are actually cut out. This is just painted on, but these are actually cut out. So I just thought that was so cute. They also had one in a light purple and a light blue, but I really liked the pink. And I mean, this is really, really good quality, so. I just really liked that, but they are, they were all exactly the same, just three different colors, um, just so you know. And there's those. What else is not Halloween? Um, I found a few candles. This first one is Spice Pumpkin in the old Williamsburg, and I really love these mason jar candles, and that smells so, so good. It really has a pretty strong pumpkin um scent so i hope that when it burns it's really strong as well and then i found this really pretty one that just says hello autumn and it just has really pretty leaves all the way around it but i just really like it because it i mean they look like real leaves they are just really pretty and this one has a really light um it says lux linen so i guess yeah that that could be the description for this candle and um, there were a few different designs they all had leaves like this but they had some different sayings and um, and they all smelled the same or just about the same to me so 
I just grabbed that one for now. And then they have these little wax melts that I thought were so cute. And this one is um, Autumn Morning. This is from the Luminescence. And they're just little um, leaves, but I thought they were really cute. And this one smells pretty good. Um, I'm hoping it smells better when it burns because it really does kind of have like a wax smell. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, there was one that was yellow and it said, or it was called Crisp Morning, but I really didn't like how that one smelled too much. So I figured I would um, start with these in trial, but I just thought the shape of one was really cute. And then they put out a lot more of these little um, shaker frames. Really, really cute. This is just the like rectangle one with the little hearts. And then it looks like little, um, kind of like snowflakes in there. So I went ahead and grabbed this one and I wanted to show y'all. I had bought this one, um, I think back around Valentine's Day and it has the little stars and it's shaped as a star but as you can see i had to put my little guy in there sebastian so i just i have this sitting out in the living room i just think it is so cute so i went ahead and grabbed this one so that i can put a picture of riley in there and um have them kind of next to each other i just think they're so cute so anyways okay back to oh there's a few more things I also found these, um, it's from the Gummy Factory, and this is Gummy Party. It says up to 18 varieties. So I just hadn't seen these before. I love gummies, and it just looks like there's a lot of different ones in here. Um, it says there's fruit rings, sour, berry party, um, gummy soda pop. So just all different kinds of gummies in there. I also randomly found this really cute notebook, but I know that my nephew will love it. And it just has like a game controller on there and says game on. And it is just um, like lined notebook paper. It also does have it on the back too, but I just grabbed that for one of them because I knew that they would love it. I also found these parchment paper pop-up sheets. There are 25 in here and I always buy the um, foil sheets, but I have never seen it in parchment. And I know that I will use these for sure and I love how long it is. So I thought that was a great find. Okay, back to the Halloween. Um, okay, so again, for my black Christmas tree, I bought these pumpkins because I think that I'm going to place these on the tree as well. And um, I bought a whole lot of those um, Halloween ornaments that have the eyeballs and spider webs on them and stuff like that. I've had them in some previous videos. So I just thought that that would be a great accent for it. And then I bought this black tablecloth. Um, I love the, the look of it. And I think that I can kind of cut it or arrange it somehow to kind of give it a skirt at the bottom of the tree. And then I bought this to be my tree topper. I'm gonna have to figure out how to, I think I'll have to cut a hole in the bottom and put some stuffing in there so that it stands up straight. It kind of tends to crinkle down a bit but it also has this black veil. So I just thought that that could look really cute at the top of the Christmas tree, or the, the Halloween tree. <laughs> and I really love this um, purple too. So there's that. Um, I also bought these little skeleton men because I buy a ton of these every year. I normally end up taking them off the twine and I'll have them all over the place. Um, I have a few different ideas for these this year so i went ahead and grabbed some more and then i bought these two fright tapes this one is the orange one and it says haunted and this is the do not cross crime scene and these i wrap my front door and going in two different directions and i will try to get a video of that to show y'all but just crisscross and i literally just wrap it from the inside out all around the door so it just looks like a crime scene and you can really see it from the street because these are um so bright so i had to grab a couple more of those and then i grabbed a whole lot more of the window decorations i love these things this first one just has the hands all over it and it says, help me. There's that. And these I bought last year, absolutely loved, had to buy again. So these um, just have the two little monsters 
and these are just so cute. I love how they look from the street. So I got those. I also had to get this big monster here. And I think I like these the best because they're so bright, so they really stand out. A lot of the other ones um, look really cool, but you know, once you get a certain ways away, you can't see them very well. So those you can really see. And then I love this guy. He might actually go inside because he is so dark, but this is just the skeleton in the coffin. I love the creepiness of this one. I grabbed some of these creepy creatures and these are the glow in the dark um, centipedes, um, I guess you would call them. And I'll probably spray paint these, um, maybe orange, purple, something like that to match more. Um, and then I also bought this pack of these little rats. And these will probably go all along the um, tree skirt at the bottom so just give it some more you know creepy touches at the on the tree skirt so that's why i got these oh and by the way when i was at the register these rang up for 50 cents each so i guess that's what they are but they never have signs when things are less than a dollar so just so y'all know all these little creepy crawly things are actually 50 cents each or at least they were at my store so I'm gonna get everything out and then if I need more, I'm definitely gonna go go grab more. Because I was thinking, I don't know if a dollar for these is such a great deal, but for 50 cents, yeah, definitely. Okay, and then I bought this little sign. Look how cute this is, happy Halloween. I love with the witch hat and the witch boots. Super cute. And another thing that is always a repeat buy for me every year are these um, window clings. And I had to get the creepy eyeballs. I love these. I was trying to find the one that has the spiders all over them, and I couldn't find them. And then this one is this witch. And I have this big mirror in my living room, and so I always put one of these on there. I absolutely love these. I, Last year, I had the really creepy man. The year before that, I bought the one with the skeleton. So they have several different designs, but this year I decided to go with the witch. And if you can see like this eye, if you turn it a certain way, it's just really creepy. I don't know, I really love these things. And then I bought a couple of these skeleton chair covers. I thought those would be really neat. And you can use them as a chair cover or you can always cut them apart and use them for, you know, different things. Just whatever, whatever fits your style. Okay, last but not least, I have already shown you um, these. Actually, I bought the um, champagne glasses, but I ended up, okay, let me show y'all what I did. I bought these today um, because I am, okay, sorry, I'm like getting ahead of myself. Let me just show you what I made. So this is the finished product, and this is just one of their little skeleton heads. I spray painted it white. I really like um, the bright white look more than kind of like the dingy color that they come in. And then I put two acrylic gems in the eyes right there, just with a really skinny paintbrush. Gave it a little bit more um, black accent marks. Um, just traced the lines, you know, nothing difficult i'm not an artist by any means um but you know the spray paint covered up all the black so i just retouched it up and so basically what i'm trying to say that i did is with one of these i just broke out the plastic glass i spray painted it black so that it would have a darker color to it and i really really like that the matte black and then after I was done with my skeleton head, I just simply glued him in there to the finger so it looks like his head is being held. And then I just glued a couple of spiders on him. And this is these are from the bunches of the black roses and the purple roses. I just grabbed a couple spiders from there. And then I just put some of the black leaves under here because there is a little bit of a hole. And then I had one of those um, black boas that they have in the Halloween costume section, and I just put some black feathers in the back. So I just thought it almost looked like a collar or something like that, but I don't know. I just really like how he turned out. I thought it looked so neat. 
So I am probably going to do the same thing with this one, but it obviously will, which I'm glad I don't need it because I just noticed that's all cracked, but it will basically just be a shorter one. So I might even make it look like more of a girl somehow, maybe put some hair on the back of the head or something. I don't know. I'll probably do it a little bit different, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. It's just super easy. Just all stuff that, you know, I had on hand. So and don't forget with spray paint, you know, they Walmart has the white and the black for 97 cents. So you can um, spray paint a lot of stuff and still do it inexpensive if you can get the spray paint at Walmart for a dollar. So anyway, that is all for this Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, it's probably a lot of things that y'all have already seen, but I just got home and I had so much stuff that I'm excited about. And so I just really wanted to share it with y'all and I hope that y'all enjoyed also, please don't forget about the giveaway. Again, I will link the video down below. Please give me a thumbs up if y'all enjoyed and please subscribe and we will see y'all next time. Bye.